All right, welcome to Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. For this episode, we are doing the macaroni and cheese collaboration. To start off with, we're going to put two tablespoons of butter into a medium-sized saucepan and get that all melted down. Once it's all melted down, we will put an equal amount, two tablespoons of plain white flour in it, and we will stir that around until that is all nicely mixed together and kind of a doughy, pasty substance. All right, right here we're adding our two tablespoons of flour. We're just going to dump that right in and stir it around again until it's all mixed up into a nice doughy, pasty substance. Uh, we are being very careful not to burn it. We've got it on a temperature of about medium just to keep the butter melted and to keep it warm while we're stirring it together and getting it all mixed in. Again, what we're looking for is a nice doughy, pasty substance. This is the making of our roux. Okay, we got a nice doughy, pasty substance here, like you can see. We're going to go ahead and add two cups of heavy cream. Now we're going to add this in gradually at first. With the first cup, we're going to pour it in gradually, and we're going to stir it and mix it all up together until it becomes a little pasty, doughy substance again. Eventually, you're going to have enough cream in there to where it becomes kind of a cream sauce instead of a doughy pasty substance. At that point, once it started doing that, you can go ahead and add the rest of it in, the rest of the cream in. Uh, on this one, it happened right about the halfway mark, so we got about half a cup put in until it started getting creamy, and then we went ahead and added the other cup just straight in and mixed it all in together until it was all nice and creamy. And I lost the footage for it. I'm not sure what happened to it. But after it's all nice and creamy, we're going to go ahead and add a half a pound of Munster cheese and one pound of sharp cheddar. I went ahead and shredded it up and just dumped it in there and added it in. And went ahead and stirred it around, mixed it up until all that cheese got melted in there. And we had ourselves a nice little cheese sauce. Again, I lost the footage. I'm not sure what happened to it, but you'll just have to take my word for it. I did do that, and this is a cheese sauce, not a cream sauce. All right, and at this point, I've already added the cheese to it, and now we're going to add just one 12 ounce package of elbow macaroni. I've already cooked it. You don't want to cook it to where it's completely al dente, just a, a little undercooked, if you will, because we're going to go ahead and bake it, and it's going to go ahead and get to its full final consistency once it's baked. And you take and you stir that macaroni in with your cheese sauce. And you have macaroni and cheese at this point. This is just 
regular plain old macaroni and cheese and it is delicious i did go ahead and try some and i was quite pleased with the way it turned out and the way it ended up Okay, at this point, we've got our macaroni and cheese already all made up. We're going to go ahead and transfer it over to this aluminum baking pan. We're going to go ahead and make it into a nice one even layer. And then we're going to go ahead and take some chopped brisket. This is just the point of a brisket I'd done about a week before. And I went ahead and cubed it up into decent sized chunks and mixed it on in there. Right here you can see me chopping up this brisket point. And like I said, we just chopped it up into, oh, probably about one inch cubes. And then we take and we just mix it on into the macaroni and cheese at that point. Now after we did that, we did go ahead and cover the top of it with some panko breadcrumbs. And then we just took it out to our Weber kettle, which we had going in about 250 degrees uh, with some pecan and hickory chunks and we smoked it on that for about an hour just until it was a nice golden brown on top and then we were done like I said earlier this has been a collaboration project some of the channels and I don't have a full list but some of them were cooking with CJ daddy Dutch barbecue and cooking cooking with James 1984 barbecue Robert Roy Josh and Babe, and there's a bunch of others. We'll put, do the hashtag and you can check it out. Thanks for watching.